Yesterday I made a video. The video was how about sorry was about how the media on all sides tends to use any tragedy or any sort of like police shooting as a caveat to push their ideology and to push a narrative that usually ends up with people hurt. I mentioned the right at the end of that video, Carl Rattenhouse uh, sorry, Rittenhouse and the fact that they had, he had been attacked and unfortunately had to take his attackers lives and it was a clear cut case of self defence. There has been a thread released by Christian Trabert, which is a which sorry, who is a visual investigations part of the visual investigations team at the New York Times. So this isn't some niche publication. This isn't some back end of the internet type person. This is a man who's working for the top quote unquote top tier of news journalism in the United States who does these kind of investigations on a day to day basis. And he has basically with everything he has seen with all the footage he has seen. Yes, it is a clear cut case of self defense. You can argue should the person have been holding a gun that is debatable because obviously there are some exceptions like i think there's a hunting exception in the united states where 15 to 18 year olds can hold a gun this kind of gun because of obviously going hunting i don't know if that applies here but we'll have to see but with the way things are going it's they're more than likely a clear-cut case of self-defense. So I'm going to be going through, and obviously I won't be playing any of the visuals because I don't want to risk my channel getting shut down. I know I usually cover tab taboo subjects, but unfortunately I just can't risk the loss of my channel. So as the thread starts, a teenager faces charges in shootings that left two people dead in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The New York Times visual investigations team reviewed hours of live streams to track 17-year-old Carl Wittenhouse's movements during and leading up to the shootings. And this is the thread. And obviously you've got an article there. So, but I'm not going to click the article. I'm going to go through each point and I'm going to show the thread. And I'm going to show what this person says. And it's quite interesting. <laughs> In the hours before the shooting incident, Christian T. Harris, Richie McGuinness, and Elijah Schaefer, sorry, Schaefer, 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 I think, all interviewed Rittenhouse, who said he was protecting a local vehicle dealership with other, se sorry, together with several other armed men. He also offers medical assistance to protesters, so he's not there to do damage straight off the bat. He's there to protect something, and he's there to offer help if needed. Rittenhouse is a is around the uh, that area in most of the footage we reviewed. About 15 minutes before the first shooting, police drive past Rittenhouse and thank the group he's with. And so they should. They're doing your job you're refusing to do. We appreciate you guys, we really do. They broadcast through their speakers of their armoured vehicles. I mean, it's good that they're actually showing a thanks to these people who are out defending properties when they get either get told to stand down or get given orders to stand down. I don't know which is the case, but it is what it is. Uh, written house. I don't know why autoplay is on, so I'll have to go through and quickly pause things as they go through. Sorry about that. Written house walks up to police vehicle with his uh, rifle slung, in other words, on his back, and talks with officers. One tosses a water bottle to the armed men. As is seen in Christian T. Harris's live stream. I'm obviously I'm not going to play these things. Rittenhouse eventually leaves the dealership and is barred uh, by the police from returning as Rupsley footage six uh, six minutes before the shooting. As you can see here, he's walking down, hand finger off the trigger, so it's not an intent to do harm. He's literally just walking with a defence posture. Let's go back to this because for some reason it decided it wanted to come off. To better understand what happened next, we synchronized six live streams. In other words, I went through six different live streams, captured all the footage and synced them up. That takes an insane, an insane level of will. I mean, 
I, I don't think I'd be able to do that, not in my state. Which revealed that were two separate shooting incidences, sorry, incidents, about one and a half minutes apart involving multiple gunmen. Now, this is before Kyle even, sorry, Kyle ever shot someone. So, he's already on high alert after hearing multiple gun, oh, sorry, after hearing gunshots by multiple gunmen. What was that? At 23.19, Rittenhouse is seen in this YouTube live stream. He's being chased into a parking lot. Now, this is before the first person unfortunately loses their life. Now, I'm not going to go into the politics of who he was and what he was. Because there are, have been released, uh, police records released and he's in a very unsavory character. But I'm not going into that. This, is not, this isn't a video about them. This is a video about proving the media na media's narrative to push their agendas are dangerous to people and to prove it was a clear-cut case of self-defense, which, in my opinion, it absolutely was. I mean, put it this way, if you're being chased and you don't know if your attackers are armed or not and they sweep your feet and drop you to the ground... They're there to do you harm, regardless of whether they, regardless of whether they think you did anything or not. They intend to do you harm. While he is being pursued, an unknown gun gunman fires the first shot into the air, and that part there is the key. If they said, and if Chris, uh, and if Kyle had fired the first shot, then no, I don't think it would count as first self-defense. But as he's being chased, someone else fires a shot, which, in turn, uh, Rittenhouse turns towards the sound of the gunfire as another pursuer lunges towards him. He then fires four times with his assault rifle and appears to shoot the man in the head. That right there is a justified shoot. If you have someone who is pursuing you, you hear gunfire, and then as you turn around to see where it came from, the same person pursuing you lunges at you. That is seen as a th threat on someone's life, and I'm sorry. You have a right to defend your life. It doesn't matter who you are. Let's put it this way. I, Despite the fact that the Black Lives Matter riots and the Antifa riots that have been happening over the past three months have killed 30-plus people in very dirty circumstances, i.e. being burned alive and just, uh, shot and killed over stealing a TV. If this was a... you got people coming out and saying he's a white supremacist, obviously without proof. And you got people saying that he, he, he wanted to go out and hunt quote-unquote black people. But... And obviously anyone who's defending this is also a white supremacist. Thank you, Ch uh, Chunky Yogurt from the Young Turks, for that wonderful take. Let me put it this way. If this was a black man running away from this same situation after he was being chased, he was armed like he was able to be, and he heard a shot ring out, turned around, and a white supremacist lunged toward him, and he shot and killed him, I'd be saying the absolute same thing. People have a right to defend themselves, regardless of who they are. The muzzle flash of the first shot by the unknown gunman, pause that, uh, sorry, the f uh, muzzle flash of the first shot by the unknown gunman, and the smoke rising from the handgun can be seen in this video capturing the first shooting from a different angle. It is unclear why Rittenhouse was being chased or why he was in the area of, of the car dealership of this car dealership about four blocks away from the one he had claimed to be protecting. We do know vehicles in this lot were damaged minutes before the first shooting. The initial shot and Rittenhouse's four subsequent discharges of his AR-15 style weapon are followed by three more shots in the parking lot. We don't know who fired them. They tr basically try to start a gunfight. 
that's what I think they are. Rittenhouse seemed to make a phone call and then he flees the scene. While fleeing the scene, Rittenhouse is again chased by several people. He trips and falls onto the ground and fires four shots as three people rush him. One person appears to be hit in the chest while another who is carrying a handgun is hit in the arm. And there's pictures of this dude and he's got a gun in his hand and he's going and he's chasing... Uh, see if I can find it. Find it without... Showing too much. Right here. You can see him here. Already. With the handgun. Drawn. Now Kyle hasn't seen this yet. But you've got people coming out and saying well. Just because he had a handgun doesn't mean he was intending to use it. He already has the handgun drawn. I mean, you probably can't see that, so I'll make it full screen for you. You can probably see it just here on the outside here of the screen. No, you can't see that. Bollocks. So I did try to get it so you can see it. And But unfortunately, you can't. I think if I zoom in a tad more, yeah there, it's right there, you can see his hand drawn and in that hand is a black Glock whether he intends to use it is a different matter but he is going in with a gun drawn and anyone who knows about combat or anything like that will know he, ha he uh, will probably defend himself with that at the same time, we sorry defend can defend himself from that. So I'm getting my words muddled up. At the same time, we hear at least eight gunshots from further away. Mr. Rittenhouse gets up and begins walking north from the scene, and eight more gunshots are heard from closer range. It's unclear who fired the other gunshots. It's clear that people were firing at him to basically try and take him down. Police vehicles just one block away. Pause that. Uh, remain stationary during the gunfire. Rittenhouse walks with his hands up towards the police as bystanders call out he was involved in a shooting. The police drive by him and to the scenes of the shootings without stopping. Rittenhouse's social media profiles proclaim support for pro-police causes like Blue Lives Matter movement and humanise the badge. Other posts show him taking backyard target practice, posing with guns and assembling an, a, a mili an military style. That's supposed to be A, but... A military style semi -automatic, semi automatic rifle. Now, that's why people are trying to claim he is a white supremacist. Because he supports things like Blue Lives Matter and Humanize the Badge. I didn't realise Blue Lives Matter was a white supremacist movement, considering a lot of police aren't white. So many police aren't white. We're continue, continuing to investigate this incident and what happened Tuesday night, so please don't reach, please, sorry, do please reach out if you have more following information. Thanks to everyone who's been following closely. But that is there, but there's also been other things that have come out that I'm going to go and see if I can quickly, uh, quickly grab for you guys. And it shows that it was indeed a clear cut case of self defense because if, the person who got shot in the arm and survived, he's released, uh, sorry, his friend has been speak. the person, that person's friend has been speaking to him, and he's put a message out. This tweet is from Mr. Andy No. Everyone knows who Andy No is. He's the person who basically covers a lot of anti the Antifa riots because he dislikes this sort of thing. Graphic, a friend of the man who rushed at the Kenosha teen with a pistol and was shot in the arm has posted an update about his status. Doctors were able to save Gage uh, Kruskrutz's arm. The friend says Gage, Gage regrets not being able to kill the teen. And obviously, I will censor this part in the... Uh, this part will be censored so that obviously I don't lose my channel. But here is, obviously, you see his... His name, Jacob Marshall in the picture, and his face, and obviously it's the same here. 
So the kid shot Gage as he, as he drew his weapon and Gage retreated with his gun in his hand. I just talked to Gage uh, Chris Groots to, uh, to his only regret was not killing the kid and hesitating to pull the gun before the emptying the entire mag into him. That is a clear cut show that it was self defense because obviously you've got this picture here as well that I was trying to show you on the video. He's going in already with his gun drawn. He was going in with the intent to harm. And you can tell because of the way he speaks. He literally went in to attack him. He just regrets that he wasn't able to pull his gun fast enough because he hesitated. He was going in to shoot him. And he was. There's no nothing about that. And there's no doubt about that. It's a clear cut case of self defense in the media. I think the media is responsible for this. If they don't push their narrative before all the evidence comes out, there would not be riots. And there would not be the need to defend properties from rioters, looters, and people who just want to do people harm. And it's not just on the media. It's on the democratic leaders of these cities. The people who've got put in place to protect the people who sit back and do absolutely nothing. This is on their hands. All the people dead, the 30 plus people dead in these riots, the blood is on their hands because they refuse to do anything about these riots. It's as simple as that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in, this, in the uh, comment section down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Please consider heading to the link at the bottom of the screen or in the description box down below and consider becoming a patron to the channel or if you'd only like to do a one-time donation head to the link in the pinned comment and consider donating. I do not have the current level of funding or reach that people like CNN do or people who do similar content to mine and you guys at the moment are the only people keeping food on the table and the lights on so if you'd like to keep the channel going please consider heading to those links.